welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be doing a little knit and chat podcast. Um, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. We haven't done a podcast in a really long time. We have obviously been still knitting and we knitting and crocheting and crafting, but we just haven't talked to you guys about it. So we're just going to do a little a bit today. catch up. There's been a lot that's happened, so we can't cover everything. I mean, I could probably cover everything because <laughs> I'm kind of the ball and Jane here. I, I take very slow, but Bella's cranked out quite a few things that we can cover in today's podcast. So we're just going to chat with you for a bit. We have our tea. Mm -hmm. It's tea season. It's definitely tea season. Lent is always tea season for... Ooh. It's very super hot. hot. <laughs> we just brewed it, so it's mm -hmm. going to be steeping while we talk to you guys. But it's very delicious, and I just had a little cold for the last three days, so it's making my... Soothing my throat. If you want to know what tea we're drinking, it's Egyptian licorice. So that's our favorite tea. Just mm. staple. Delicious. It's absolutely delightful. Okay, so basically, I'm going to be the work in progress today, and she's going to be the finished objects because she has no works in progress, and I have only works in progress because I have barely finished anything since the last time we talked. That's notable. So my last cast off that I was working on for all of January was is this sweater by the petite knitter uh yeah the petite knitter not to be confused with petite knits mm -hmm. she has um a plethora of yoke sweaters so many different designs that are so pretty like this one it, this one's the caribou crossing one and i made this out of um it's called lux merino by loops and threads a very cheap yarn you can get from michael's and I got it in this white, red, and blue, and I sort of made it to match a blanket that we have at home, and I wanted it to have that same color scheme, so that's why I made it this color scheme. And then I just added a little edging on the sleeves and on the bottom. That was my little touch, because I, I didn't just want it to have all the pattern on the top, I wanted to bring it down. And I think it turned out really well. The only thing about this is that, first of all, I knit it kind of late, so late in the season so I'm not gonna have that much time to wear it now since it's getting into spring and it's definitely warmer and it's just not really the season for like ski sweaters anymore but I still like it and I'll have it for future years but she did make it just in time for our ski trip we went on a ski trip to Mammoth with the fam mm -hmm. and, and it was great it. it was so vibes I finished it just in the nick of time because I literally finished blocking it the day before or just put it out to block the day before we left and we woke up in the morning and left and it was still wet so it like dried while we were there so I have only worn this once and I wore it there um just after we got back from skiing I threw on this sweater and it's very cozy the only thing is that because it's yoke it's sort of restrict like it's a little bit restricting I don't know if that's just how every yoke sweater is I don't have any yoke sweaters this is my only one and so it kind of has like a tightness it has less give on the top part especially right here because i i think i just like made my floats maybe a little too tight so that it's kind of like holding in my arms and it puckers sometimes when i move around but other than that i love this sweater and um yeah it's really nice and for my work in progress that i'm working on right now i'll just tell you about that because that's what i'm working on is this is the Amatra, it's spelled I-M-A-T-R-A, -A, Amatra Top by The Crochet, The Crocheting, or The Crochet from Etsy. And as you can see, this is, okay, it's huge because I'm making it for my um, brother Cormac. So basically I got him for Secret Santa, that just goes to show you how slow I am because I got him for Secret Santa at the beginning of January end of December and I'm still working on it and I tried to discreetly ask him what colors he would want and he immediately knew that I was the secret Santa and I pretty much gave it away <laughs> but um I'm still chugging away at this I'm basically I'm trying to uh use the Amatra pa pattern but I am using a different size yarn I'm using the same yarn that I think I was using for this mm -hmm. and that she's using for this it's called mm -hmm. Deluxe Merino. So I'm using that as well, which is really nice because it has wool, it has all the contents that you want, but it's cheap, which you know we love. 
and yeah he said he wanted um these vertical different shades of blue stripes and then i'm trying to adapt it with a dk yarn to a worsted weight pattern and have only this stitch so i did gauge swatch for this believe it or not i'm really getting <laughs> i'm really becoming a gauge swatch girly i think lately because otherwise my patterns just always go awry <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah that's what i'm working on it's been very enjoyable because i can just do this i love just crocheting like this where i can just talk to you mm -hmm. and um the only i'm just this is just one of those projects where i'm working on it and like hoping that everything goes well because mm -hmm. you know you're kind of improvising with the pattern i'm trying new things doing this striping <sighs> Yeah, it's a lot of construction work at the just end. it's so big. Yeah, and it's so. giant. So it's like, this is going to be a big, a big waste of yarn if it doesn't turn out right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping it does. But so far, I'm enjoying it. And, you know, it's all about the climb sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's definitely what um, this year is about, is just enjoying my knits. And just I've been trying to practice recently with all my knits is just enjoying the experience. It's not so much about the finished project as the experience of knitting. So my next finished object, I had some leftover yarn from this sweater of the red and the blue. I think I ran out of all the white, but um, so I decided to use a little bit of that leftover red to make this hood, which turned out really nice. This is the Simple Hood by uh, Leo Luca. And the Simple Knit Hood, I think that's what it's called. And it's just, a simple hood it, it was very easy and it only took me about like i think i knit this in like a day because i we uh, every super bowl we watch movies all day instead of the super bowl the girls go and watch movies all day so i cast this on and then just knit on it while we were watching movies <laughs> and um yeah it was very easy and just like she said i just got to knit on it mindlessly and that's some of my favorite type of knitting is just being able to knit and watch tv or whatever and this is also, yeah, this is the same yarn. And um, I just, this is great for church because we, when we go to mass, we have to, we like to wear veils. So this is great for that. And then also like um, Disneyland and stuff. When we go out and it's, especially during this season, it's and pretty And you want to wear a sweater like this, but you need a hood. Mm -hmm. And just the hood. It just makes me feel so much warmer when I have a hood and I can like, especially when we're walking around in Disneyland and stuff and there's just like wind and everything and like, I just feel really cold around my face. I always wanna have a hood on. So this is just something that I can put on when I am wearing sweaters or something that, and like, I don't have a hoodie or a jacket. And yeah, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't think I adapted anything about this pattern. I may have made the opening of the face a little longer than the pattern says but that wasn't purposeful it's just because i was getting so caught up in the movies that all of a sudden i was like oh i just knit a little bit more than i was supposed to and then i just left instead of sewing in my ends i just sort of left them out and added this little bow at the bottom if you know if you know you know bows are all the rage mm -hmm. with with the gen z kids these days <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so i mean, added this little book because I think it's a cute addition. Also, Chella just read a book called Angel and Skis, which we both um, read. It's like very ski, mountainy book. So we, it's we so both hot. read that when we were in Mammoth. I read it last year and she read it this year and she, she's wearing a hood on the front that looks, that's red and it has a little bow on her chin. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted to keep the bows because she has a little bow on her chin and I wanted it to be like reminiscent of that book. It's a very cute book and if you're looking for a good ski read like cozy lot just all the winter vibes you should definitely go for that book because it's just so wholesome and cute and i found it at my li my local library so it's not like we didn't have to pay for it or anything and then so now i'll talk about my other work in progress which is right now it's been on it's been in time out <laughs> So basically, this is another project that I started for one of my brothers, and I ran out of yarn because I was working out of stash, and this is a, um, this was supposed to be a surprise for <laughs> my brother's <laughs> birthday, who's December 13th, so that just also goes to show you how long ago I started this, beginning of December, 
and you can see the tie part i did the decreases i started the skinny part this is supposed to go on for a lot longer but i ran out of yarn so now i kind of had to reveal it to him and be like so do you want me to just continue in a different color and make it look black i guess that's what i'm gonna have to do because i'm not buying more yarn for this so <laughs> <laughs> so sorry it's gonna be a two-toned tie and oh oh look at that <gasps> he's wearing my sweater i made this sweater in november for him and he has been asking me to make him a sweater for my entire knitting career which is like 10 years so i finally decided to do it this year and it was a very enjoyable knit even though i made the buttonholes too big so when you button up button them up they come unbuttoned so if you have any tips on how to fix that, leave them down in the description. <laughs> <laughs> the tips are going to be to make those smaller. And I have to sew it up, but I don't really know how to sew, so. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you have any tips on how to magically make yarn come out of nowhere so that I can finish this in the right color, that would be also greatly appreciated, but I think I'm just going to have to make a tacky vibes, unfortunately. Um, Two-tone is kind of a... It's kind of it. <laughs> For a tie? I mean, it's already a knit tie, which is a little bit like hippie vibes. So <laughs> we're just going to go with that, okay? So yeah, that's all for my works in progress. And so that I don't feel like such a loser because I don't have any finished projects. And as you can see, she knitted that sweater, this sweater, that sweater, another sweater that she didn't even mention yet. <laughs> and I have I have this. This is all I have to show. And But... I will say that I did make my mom a little balaclava that she wore in the snow, and that was also a very enjoyable knit, but Bella has knit one of those before, and it was mentioned in one of our other podcasts, so you can go back and watch that if you want to know the pattern, but it is a very nice... I think it's called the BB balaclava. Yeah, it's like if you look it's up a knit pattern. balaclava, it just comes up. It's a free pattern, and it's a super, super fun knit and super good pattern. Yeah, it's just a very well done pattern, good construction. Um, also mindless like mm -hmm. it's a good knit so and that was so cute products. um we got our mom a little ski uh ski outfit for christmas and it was just so cute under that i loved it, it was so i feel like i'm forgetting something but i truly have just been in a knitting crocheting slump i guess <laughs> trying to dig my way out of that this lent that's that's one of my lenten resolutions i'm getting this off the needles i'm getting this off the needles for sure i'm gonna try to work on this a lot and then I also want to start a project and hopefully finish that one too <laughs> at some point. It's just a great time. Lent is just a great time to find inspiration in simple things like hobbies, little cozy hobbies, tea, chatting with you guys. Also, shout out to the person who made us sit down and do this. Mm -hmm. In our last video, we posted a little like family cooking video and someone commented, show us the knitting, please. And that really just gave us the push we needed to sit down and chat with you guys mm -hmm. really quick. So yeah, this is for you, commenter. And mm -hmm. if you like this, give it a like, comment and down just below. just know that the comments really do um, inspire us and make us want to make more videos and also just- and tend towards your guys' like wants for mm -hmm. our videos. Mm -hmm. So interesting would be greatly appreciated. Sometimes it kind of feels like it's a little boring to talk about just like hobbies or whatever we're interested in. So we mostly just show the stuff that we do and like, in vlogs and we think that's gonna be more exciting but, but i don't know if that's enough personality mm -hmm. so yeah i do like these chatty videos and it definitely um made me see that it's not so boring when uh that commenter said show us when you're knitting and i was like oh you guys are actually uh interested in what we're working on yeah which is nice so we hope you enjoyed this quick knit chat up <laughs> knit catch up <laughs> um crochet catch up just trying to get the ball rolling with podcasting again. Hopefully I can start cranking out projects faster so that I can keep up pace with Bella and we can do this more consistently. <laughs> and yeah, the best of wishes for your um, Lent if you're doing that, for your Easter coming up, spring cleaning, finals pretty soon. <laughs> I don't even know, I'm out of touch. Midterms. <laughs> <laughs> Midterms, um, what else? Don't get seasonal depression Friday's because day. I know it's kind of hard when the sun goes away for a little bit in this mm -hmm. For the last year. three days, it was raining. And I'll tell you, every day I cried. <laughs> <laughs> but you just have to romanticize it with a little tea and a little knitting. A and little, little bit. Podcast. A little bit of talking to your online friends. So mm -hmm. leave this like because we're. I'm really feeling 
this is going in my what i'm thankful for journal today just having a nice podcast to talk to and crochet with and have people who are asking to see my projects because mm -hmm. that really gives you motivation mm -hmm. and i just love the knitting community on youtube it's so nice so wholesome so Everyone's wholesome all the podcasts are so it's like very low effort but just casual and cozy and inspiring it's just the right amount of inspiring mm -hmm. and it's just like and everyone's helping each other out it's so real it's such a real part of the internet like mm -hmm. a, just a little corner where we all sit and, and it's so and talk wholesome about everything is put to the side and we all just pick up our projects and talk to each other mm -hmm. and i love that mm -hmm. so. we've really been liking by the way leslie friend uh, who our mom introduced to us um a friend to knit with podcast yeah, she, she also has very short, inspirational podcasts, mm -hmm. and all her knits are so beautiful, and they're just, I just love watching her podcast. I'll it's just satisfying that to up, watch her talk. Do routine, <laughs> and just like, yeah, watch her talk with her, all her really cute knits and outfits. Um, but yeah, that's what we've been working on lately. Mm -hmm. I can feel like I can just talk to you forever. I, a bunch of things could start popping into my head that I want to like talk to you guys about, but um, we'll, we'll leave that, that for, for now. Later video. And I hope you guys stay tuned for more, more knits, more, more hobbies, more vlogs. ASMR segment. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> my earrings match perfectly with my ridiculous sweater, and it's sparking joy. I actually did want to mention that my my cowboy boot earrings are absolutely <laughs> sparking joy. <laughs> They're bringing the whole look together. Okay. Otherwise, this sweater just kind of makes me feel puffy and frizzy. But this this takes away the puffy and frizziness but yeah we're gonna stop there today we'll see you next time um we're gonna be posting consistently so make sure you subscribe leve a like and just join the community because mm -hmm. it's a great time over here mm -hmm. chill vibes even if you don't vibes knit. vibes <laughs> <laughs> aesthetic vibes inspirational vibes you know us do you need more convincing honestly just subscribe <laughs> <laughs> and comment and even if you don't knit, you can learn how to knit or whatever hobby you like to do. Or you can just sit and watch us. Or you can just sit and watch if it gives you the who goodness that it gives me when I'm watching podcasts. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.